Hello, I'm on a driven grouse moor in a grouse butt and I'd like to tell you what happens to the grouse after they've been shot because a large number of grouse are shot on moors like this, far more than could be eaten by the shooters themselves. So you might wonder, do they ever turn up in supermarkets? Well, in 2014, after a short campaign, Marks and Spencers were persuaded not to sell red grouse because they couldn't prove that they came from sustainable sources. And by sustainable, I mean moors where there wasn't too much burning, too much drainage and the illegal persecution of birds of prey. In 2015, they didn't sell grouse either, saying that there weren't many grouse about and the shooting season had been poor due to the weather. But in that same year, Iceland did sell grouse, perhaps because their chief executive, Malcolm Walker, is a very keen shooter. They initially went on the market for $8.95, but they were finally discounted for £2.95. It's quite cheap when you think that they can cost up to £75 to shoot and a lot to produce. Surely they weren't being sold at a profit. This was purely symbolic. But would you want to eat grouse from a supermarket anyway? I think not. You see, they're shot using lead ammunition. In Mark Avery's excellent Inglorious book, he cites uh, an example of where he took some grouse from Iceland and had them tested to see how much lead there was in them. Now on average, we find that they show 10 times the lead level that would be permitted in beef, pork or chicken. But after taking samples from Iceland, he found that those samples had an average lead level 100 times what would be legal for other meats. One sample had a lead content 3,699 times what would be legal for non-game meats. So, Marks and Spencers and Iceland, should you choose to sell grouse this year, I won't be eating any of that toxic produce and I won't be shopping in your stores because I've signed a petition to ban driven grouse shooting and I'd very much like you to consider doing the same. Thank you.